Criminal charges have now been filed in connection to a stabbing murder in Bemidji early Saturday morning. The uh, criminal complaint identifies the stabbing murder victim only as AF. The three men charged are 25-year-old James Raymond Burnett III of Wabin, 20-year-old Daniel Wade Keezer of Detroit Lakes, and 22-year-old Robert Edward Keezer Jr. of Monoman. All three are charged with uh, aid and abet murder with intent, not premeditated. The charge carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. Now, according to the criminal complaint, this is what happened, uh, reading verbatim, quote, on June 24th, uh, at uh, 3.30 a.m., Bemidji police responded to a report of a physical altercation between several people at 1804 Minnesota Court Northwest in Bemidji near the J.W. Smith Elementary School. Officers responded immediately, and upon arrival, officers observed a younger male adult laying on the ground face up uh, next to a silver Audi uh, passenger car. Officers observed Observed the male was bleeding profusely from multiple puncture wounds throughout his torso. The male was not breathing and did not have a pulse. EMS first responders arrived shortly thereafter and pronounced the male, later identified as AF, to be deceased. Officers uh, also met with another person at the scene, identified as 18-year-old J.L., who stated he had followed his friend AF to the residence at 1800 Minnesota Court to meet with a person he described as K-Dog. Uh, J.L. indicated that his friend AF walked up to the residence looking for K-Dog and was confronted by three younger men. J.L. stated the three men appeared to confront AF and proceeded to chase AF off the property at 1800 Minnesota Court. Uh, J.L. stated AF briefly stopped by J.L.'s car to advise him to leave the area. J.L. seated in his vehicle, remained at the scene. A.F. then began running toward uh, J.W. Smith School. J.L. reported the two, uh, two of the individuals who had confronted A.F. in the yard continued to uh, chase uh, A.F. toward the school. J.L. reported the third individual stopped by his car and warned him to stay in the car and not move. J.L. stated that the two individuals continued to chase uh, A.F. Uh, back to Minnesota court in front of the residence of 1800. J.L. stated A.F. was uh, chased into the middle of the street by the two unknown assailants. J.L. stated that the men, uh, that the man who was standing outside his vehicle then joined the two men who had chased A.F. down and, three, and the three surrounded A.F. and began assaulting him. J.L. stated that he observed the three men assault A.F. as a group by making uh, punching and stabbing motions. J.L. observed uh, A.F. collapse and the three assailants fled toward the residence of 1800 uh, Minnesota Court. J.L. stated that he ran toward A.F. and attempted to help him. J.L. stated he was able to help A.F. toward the vehicle, but that A.F. collapsed outside the car and stopped breathing. 911 was called. Bemidji police obtained a search warrant to locate the subjects, uh, suspects, and evidence from 1800 Minnesota Court. Uh, officers were able to direct uh, three young men out of the residence, uh, James Burnett, Robert Keezer, and Daniel Keezer, the uh, named defendants. In a subs in subsequent Mirandai statement, James Burnett stated that he, Robert Keezer, and Daniel Keezer confronted AF on the property. Burnett stated that Keezer uh, chased after this man and that he stood at the side of the vehicle in the street. Burnett claimed that he does not remember what happened after that, that but uh, he and the Keezers ran into the house and were subsequently arrested by law enforcement. Uh, police detectives uh, further reviewed surveillance video from outside the school. The videos corroborate JL's statement. The videos depict two vehicles arriving at approximately 3.15 a.m., with one individual, individual leaving a vehicle and walking directly outside the residence at 1800 Minnesota Court Northwest. The video depicts three individuals confronting AF in the yard of 1800 and two of the individuals uh, chasing AF on Minnesota Court and at the um, Smith School. The two individuals caught up with AF as he ran back to Minnesota Court Northwest. The video depicts three individuals surrounding AF and assaulting him for several seconds. The video depicts AF collapsing on the street and the three assailants running back into the residence at 1800 Minnesota Court Northwest. 
The size and stature of the two individuals chasing AF appeared to match Robert and Daniel Kieser. After Burnett and uh, Robert and Daniel Kieser were arrested, they were transported to the Beltrami Law Enforcement Center. Both Daniel Kieser and Robert Kieser displayed scrapes and injuries to their knuckles consistent with uh, punching or stabbing another during an assault. Both individuals also displayed evidence of blood on their clothing. JL's statement, as well as uh, video evidence, is consistent with Burnett and the Kiesers initiating the assault by chasing AF with Robert and Daniel Kieser chasing AF down while Burnett, Burnett stayed with JL to prevent him from intervening in the assault of AF. After Robert and Daniel Kieser chased AF down on Minnesota court, Burnett joined the assault and all participated in the stabbing death of AF. A knife and broken brick uh, were found near the assault. Uh, all three uh, defendants have uh, prior criminal histories. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.